we are at St. Peter's Habakai Primary School. We are here to do a ball inspection. The main purpose of doing inspection is to assess the condition of the borehole, the interior of the borehole. And that one you can only do by lowering a camera inside the hole and uh, probing whatever it is inside, which will be displayed on our screen on the control box. We have the camera itself. This one, we call it the probe device. We have the, the sensor for the depth. Uh, as we lower down the camera, we are also able to know the depth because of this one. We have the control box. The control box is the, like the control house. If we want to adjust it, we can use the buttons. So, we connect the camera with this cable, and this is how we do it. So we have connected the camera with the cable. Then these are centralizer. The centralizers are there to help us make sure that the camera does not swing as it is being lowered. Then we have the memory card because uh, that, uh, we need to record the, the process. So this is where we insert the uh, memory card. Just follow with me as we lower. So my colleague Gladys and Julius will be helping from the control box. One will be lowering the pulley as uh, Gladys read from the screen. Reset from zero. Do go to stop stop up a Make a zero. So so yeah. So when I send the in a record. Yeah, it should be. Pull the tube. It's the end of the other So this one is the depth counter. It helps us as the uh, the cable running uh, along it. It is also giving us the depth on the screen. Yeah. So it is the depth sensor. This one here. That's why our cable must run through it to help us get the, the depth. You can see here we have the the depth. Now we are at 8.8, .8, but the depth keeps on changing because we are lowering the the camera. And from the camera, you can see these are joint or one one casing and another. Where two casings have been joined together. Just just come up again. Just uh -huh. let's just see the joints. Yeah, see the joints. Uh -huh. Now you can continue. Just now. at the same time we are recording. So the video will be there even after the process. We will still have the video. Some of the, some of the information we are going to get from this process is also the static water level. We are also going to get the total depth. Yeah, we are we are almost getting to the to the water rest level. This is now the water rest level. Aha. Uh -huh. So the water rest level is twelve point two. Yeah. We are we are getting into the water now. The, our camera is just aha. Uh -huh. Now we are inside the water. So you can see that's inside the water. Let's continue the lowering. So you can see our camera cruising through the water. We have you can see the joints of the of the uh, casings. At the moment, because of the from the clarity of the water, uh, we can say that the the casings are just still planes. When we get to screens, you'll see like that the area is so bright, the, that area will be so bright. Like now, here we have screens. You can see the screens. Uh -huh. That's our first screen 
our first screen is from 19 meters. That's where our first screen is. Yeah, just proceed. Uh, so we are approaching the floor. You can just. You can see the floor. So the ball was. Now that's the floor. So our ball is perfectly free from any sediment. And you can see the floor is very, very clear. The total depth is 82. Peleka to tena chin, yo. Yes, so we, are, we have reached the, the flow of the bowl. That is 82.385 meters. And we can conclude that our bowl is in perfect condition. There is not much of sediments, no backfill. You can see the flow clearly. And with that, I thank uh, the water project for uh, this equipment because with this equipment we can be able to see what we can't see while on the surface of the earth. Yes. <laughs>